This is jungle loud. This is this is this is jungle loud. Fighting out loud. This is jungle loud. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Much if you really, really wanna stop crime Be safe when you're home, be safe in the streets It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence Still crime, much came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new the king Tell me friendly on the phone so you can call us We ain't gonna call you back Say they don't know if you call us Say what you gonna do now We all come with you now There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We gonna hunt you down We gonna hunt you down We gonna come, we ain't playing It's the last thing on our minds for crime Much if you really, really wanna stop crime there's a jungle loud. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle loud. Fighting out loud. There's a, there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna hunt you down. We gonna come, we ain't playing. It's the last thing on our minds for crime. Much if you really, really wanna stop crime. Be safe when you're home. Be safe in the streets. It's a cold place and I'm nearly feeling the heat. I never wear gold cause summer's always peeping by the fence. Still crime, much came and give TNT confidence. I had a dream in the dark. I had a dream in the spring. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch, and we're back. Top of the evening to you. All those of you who are locked on the line, especially good evening to you. All those of you who are just seated there in front of your television set. Just waiting to hear news before the news, a special good evening to you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, the coronavirus has reached tested, uh, persons who are tested positive at public and private facilities. We have now reached 3,336. Yesterday, we were 327. So we had a... We had a uh, it just went up. It, well, it went up a bit by... Um, It went up by nine. Which? It went up by. It went up by nine. I think first time for the longest while. We have seen that figure. It went up by nine. So let's just hope and keep our fingers crossed, huh? please. Let's just hope and pray and keep our fingers crossed. This thing is just crazy. Open up the lines for me, please. Open up the lines. I want to say a special good evening to all our advertisers. You know, I want to say a special hello to GPS Rescue. And um, in fact, I was just chatting with them a while ago. Remember, if you have a, a, a lot of land, like acres and acres of land, and you have crop on the land, let's say you've, you've planted maybe pumpkin or watermelon or corn or whatever, whatever you know, whatever you have planted, and you are fed up of of pretty larceny and people coming and stealing your stuff and whatnot, GPS Rescue, they can really assist you. They can put up whatever, you know. And not only crops, they, they, can, they can do it with, um, with equipment. Let's say you're on a job site and you're, you're, you're fearful of somebody coming to, 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 to burn down your, your, your equipment, you get in contact with GPS Rescue and even, even your livestock. Your livestock, I mean, there are a lot of cases where people see people, animals and whatnot, and, you know, get in contact with GPS Rescue. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the Commissioner of Police, Gary Griffith, has advised that the Trent Tobago Police Service will be monitoring persons who have been placed in home quarantine, especially those who have been tested positive. So now you realize, now you realize that, that and, I, you know, and I stood right here and I said that, that there are a lot of persons who are who, who just going home and not telling anybody anything. Because the bigger picture, the bigger picture, they don't want to play. They don't want nobody to know. So it's a kind of two-edged sword because even though you, you might say that, but then people say, well, there's nobody working in the house. You know, just today, I, you know, I, I was chatting with someone who lives abroad, and they get a grant of 600 a week. Yeah, 600 a week. 
from government. From government, yeah? Every week they get a check in their mail for six hundred dollars, six something. So that's like a grand fee to stay home and not come out and whatnot. And they've been getting that. And I asked the person, have you ever missed a date? I've not, I've, she said, no, it's always in the mail or they put it in your account or, you know, whatever. I said, wow, we in Trinidad could have done that, but they spent all the money. Yeah, they, and, they, and, you know, there have been people in America who, who just home there. So they're controlling it by just making sure these people stay home. They have no need to go to, you know, to go to take the train, to go on the subway and whatnot. But I just don't understand. But the commissioner is saying now that have persons who have been tested positive and asked to go home, and they go in supermarket, they go in the pharmacy, they're going all about, they're going all about. You remember all these here, all about. Um, the commissioner put, said persons who have tested positive for the virus and placed in home quarantine have been breaking the public health ordinance regulation. Griffith pointed out that there were reports of COVID-19 positive patients leaving their homes and going out either supermarket, pharmacy, shop, gas station, and restaurant. He also added by saying that some of these patients have been uh, entertaining family and friends at their homes, although they were advised to stay in isolation. So that could be a problem. That could be a problem on our hands, that these people, that they, are, you know, they, are, they have been tested po positive and they're up and about. They've been going to the, maybe, that's why I said initially, that when you go to the, the gas station, you see, they now figure it out, eh? Because as much as you're locking down the zone, it's growing, it's growing and it's growing. So you realize now people who are going home, not telling, not, not staying home, they're going to the supermarket, they're holding, the, they're, hold, they're, hold, they're holding up the peas, the rice, they're watching it, they're putting it down back. <coughs> you come, good, 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 pick it up. That is it after. Your body cash, huh? And that is it. You're gone clear. You're, as, as they say, you're dead in the war. So that is why I tell you it is very important for you to sanitize. It is very, very, very important for you to sanitize. We have our last set of sanitizers right now. And make sure, you make sure, and get your sanitizers. Come to the studio. Just as I said, this is 285. This one here. And I think that sometimes we need to come out to the wide. It's too much of wide shots. And the, this one is, is $85. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. And we're not going to give out no giveaways as yet. It's too early in the program. Hi, caller. Hello. Good afternoon. It's Dave Mr. Yelan Allen. What's going good on? Afternoon. Good afternoon to you and the listening public. Um, I was listening to Gerald Lambin yesterday, and I have a, um, an issue. Um, Muslim people do, cre do not cremate the dead person, right? Oh. Um, um, what will happen in a case like if a Muslim person can contact the COVID virus and dies? Um, what will happen in a case like that? Well, that is a very good point you come with. There. That is a very good point. They'll have to call Mr. Ramdin and find out. I don't know the laws about that one. Because just as you said, that Muslim persons don't cremate. They bury, and, but I am sure among the dead of the 50-something, somebody, they must have had Muslims, among, a Muslim person among, among them. That is a good point. That is a very good point, sir. I'll get in contact with Mr. Ramdin. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Oh my God. It gone up by 98, ladies and gentlemen. It gone up by 98. Two more deaths. Two more deaths. Two more deaths. So the death toll now is now 60. And so it's 3,434. So, so that is why they realize now, and that's how, how important it is. And I love what Gary is, do, is, is doing now. You know what song? It's not warm when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. 
And she's always gone too long. Every time. I love that song by Bill Withers. I have that. I have that my ringtone. Um, so now they realize that persons go into the supermarket. So when you go to the supermarket, you see a touchy trolley. You pick up. You know, remember people are wearing gloves and whatnot. But you, they take up the the, 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 the the chicken. They take up whatever, and they touch it. The rice, the sausage. I like this, what is this, what, a new thing here, and they put it on back. So now they realize that people who are positive out there, as I wake up calling, you know, people who are positive out there. So the police now, Commissioner Griffith pointed out that there were reports of COVID-19 persons leaving their homes and going out, either to a supermarket, pharmacy, shops, and gas stations. So when they go in the gas station, they go, they pay. They pay the money for the gas. They come out, they take the pump, they take the pump, they open up the, 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 the gas lid and they take the pump, toot, 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 toot. push it in, pump it up like that, come back, stick it back, sit down in the car. You come now, you, 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 have, you have on your mask here, you have on your mask, normal, normal, you have on your mask, you have on your mask, you come outside the gas station. What you always think of happen here? Eh? What you always think of happen? No, I don't want to smudge up my face. So you come out now. You remember, you, you remember you're cautious, you wear your mask, you come out. You come out, you pay your money, you go and buy, you take up the, the, you take up the pump down and you, watch your, mm, you sit down in your car and you drive. It's on your hand, you open your door. You open your door, you sit down, you touch something home and everybody get it. Just so, just so, just so. That is why. That is why. Look how you're doing it. When you reach the gas station, you watch as you touch that. Yeah, you sanitize You sanitize your hands. I don't even open my door. I leave my door slightly open, so I do like that with my with my with my hand. I open the door, put my sanitizer, take it up, so pass your chair and I sit along back. Because you don't know who touched that, that pump, you know. You don't know who touched it. And that's what they realize now that a lot of people who are positive out there and they go in pharmacy. That's why when you push up my door, when you push up my door in any business place, make sure you use your shoulders. Just do so. Try to avoid using your hands. Because everybody, after, every person, every human being, yeah, everybody, you can't help that. You can't help it. You can't help it. Put your hand in your mouth. You can't, you can't help it. You just can't help it. It's human nature. So that is why how sanitizers are very, very, very important. And that is why we have started to even distribute to business places. Tomorrow, I think we have some big order in some nursing home or something like that. Yeah? Yeah? For sanitizers, because people are taking it very, very serious. Because now you realize people are going out, pharmacies, supermarkets, and all kind of things. So it's a wake-up call. Also um, related to crime, but just to let you know, the um, it's not three thousand four hundred and thirty-four. It went up by ninety-eight, and two more deaths. Really, really bad. Let's take a fast break. When we come back. <laughs> Get your hand sanitizers at Crime Watch Studios. Hand sanitizers are vital, ideal for cars, homes, schools, office, and more. Get your exclusive IAN branded masks. Get a gallon for $230, 1.2 liters for $85, and masks for only $65. Or call 225-3250 or our hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. Incredible India Expo Mid-Santa Mall urges all citizens to follow all government directives in order to fight COVID-19. Visitors visiting Incredible India Expo should expect strict COVID-19 measures before entering. You will be required to wash your hands, have your face mask on at all times, and have your temperature checked. All restaurants are serving takeaway orders only. No more than five persons in one shop. Public safety is our highest priority. Just once a year, Incredible India Expo at Mid Center Mall, September 18th to October 12th. 
New Eyewear presents its luxury eyewear collection. Come and see some of the biggest brands in the eyewear industry. Versace, Nike, Nine West, Coach, Michael Kors, Ray-Ban and much, much more. Get great specials and promos every day. Pre-selected frame with special brand purchases. Get digital customized lenses with nanofilm, anti-glare coatings and transition lenses. Situated at 91D Montrose Main Road, Chiguanas. Call 672-5052 or 390-3196. Conditions apply. On the outside, many of us look healthy, but there could be trouble brewing inside. High levels of bad cholesterol can lead to heart disease, a leading cause of death in Trinidad and Tobago. Reduce your risk with a balanced diet, regular exercise, and Jameson's Omega 369 so you can be in good shape inside and out. Jameson Omega 369, clinically proven to reduce cholesterol. Stop Prada Lasni now. Introducing a state-of-the-art solution to safeguarding your assets. Advanced alert surveillance. Protecting your agricultural assets. Protecting your construction site assets. Protecting your off-grid and remote assets. We take care of the technical stuff, allowing you peace of mind. Monitor your assets real-time. Get instant alerts, high-definition video and audio. Deal with situations immediately. Advanced alert surveillance. Email gpsrescue at gmail.com or telephone 675-8000. Here's what to do, you've got to flu, responsibly, baby. Sneeze and coughing, got to block it. Dirty hands, you got to wash them. Hand a doll, you got to pop it. Nothing works faster, nothing works faster. Aramos Alignment Center specializes in computerized alignment and balance in tire sales and service. New and foreign used tires, repairs on all sizes. We do diagnostic scan for all makes of vehicles. Oil and filter change located at Rambuju Street, Aramos. Call 675-6713 or 751-4346. Get your hand sanitizers at Crime Watch Studios. Hand sanitizers are vital, ideal for cars, homes, schools, office and more. Get your exclusive IAN branded masks. Get a gallon for $230, 1.2 liters for $85 and masks for only $65 or call 225-3250 or a hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. Do you know what a good barbecue, grilled fish, a pizza or a tikka masala have in common? They all taste better with Rami pepper sauce. Add a little spice and flavor to any dish with Rami Original Spicy. Or take it up a notch with the Original Reviver. Or bring on the heat with the Original Soak Up Pepper Sauce. For wholesale and retail orders, please call 362-3894. Rami Pepper Sauce, the perfect blend of flavor. Curb Cab. Curb Cab. Trinidad's newest and fastest growing ride hailing application. Download our passenger application today, available on iOS and Android devices. With rates starting from as low as $21, we guarantee the lowest rates around. Visit www.curbcabtt.com for further information. We are also recruiting drivers. Sign up today. Tired of choosing between healthy and delicious? Your search is over with the all-new O-Snacks Chewy Granola Bars. Locally made with fresh, wholesome ingredients that taste great and are good for you. An excellent source of fiber, antioxidants, vitamins and minerals. Introducing chocolate chip, pumpkin spice and almond cranberry. Our bars taste as good as they look, maybe better. O-Snacks Chewy Granola Bars, the healthier choice. You know something? Gary going out by everybody house who are Corona. So now, NDR Singh was saying that patient confidentiality. 
So which means to say the police now will have all the information, your medical records, if you're going by somebody's house. Okay. Okay. But I don't, I, I don't think Gary have the, rec the records as yet. But then again, they are saying they need to come and clear the on that now because remember, everything is patient con confidentiality and this and that and this and that. But you know what I'm watching too? Let me tell you what I'm watching. I'm watching out this Minister of Education. What's your name? Dolly? Dolly gone Maracas, like Dolly Maracas. Dolly, you have on a mask? Dolly, when you take out that pit here? I wonder if, if, if police coming by you. That the minister, yeah? I don't know if you can get a CG bar for this. The Minister of Education. No mask. Look the beach behind she. The only thing she here talking. Hmm. She needs to visit her hairdresser. Serious. Look the part. Image, girl, image, image. You need that. But you see, you, you see? Nobody here talking, come back, nobody here talking that enough. Nobody here talking that enough. Nobody here talking that. But when my girl went up, went up and said, what she was saying? Let's play the video behind anything there. Up to now, we see a beach. This girl ain't show a beach. No, not even, nothing, 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 nothing. And police on which part? Toko? Sandy Grandy? All over the place went by the girl house with a search warrant. I wonder if they're going by, I wonder if they'll go by Dolly or Dolly, they're coming by you? Watch Dolly. You see, you see in this country, I mean, you see in this country, it's a law for the normal citizen and it have an, an, a, a next law for those in power. Yeah? Two different laws. Why do you think Raoul Lee and Diaz singing them so bitter? They're bitter. And they, want, they want to take out their fury on Gary. They want to take it out on everybody. They want to take it out on the little girl there. They want to go base and lock up everybody or kind of thing. You know why? Let me tell you why. Because they realize they have failed. They realize they have lied to the nation. When, when Carfer come out and say, he's number one. He say, number one. Number one. Now they're about a hundred, a thousand and something. Down the ladder. Well, they're out of the ladder. You know what I want? Let me show you a little back canal. Hold on. Hold on. You're fine, I look tired today, eh? I'd be working harder every day. Like real hard. Real hard. I want to make a call to somebody. I ain't gonna tell you who, but that's the man alive. What is the number, boy? Right. Watch my head. Hello, good afternoon. This is Ian Allen. We are live on national television. First of all, I must tell you, accept my sympathy for the passing of your father. Thank you, Mr. Allen, and good evening again to the public. Yeah, now, let me ask you something now. Tell me what really went on. How long your father was at Coover Hospital with, the, with this corona thing? All right, well, in total, uh, it would have been like 12 days, right? Right, the quarantine period, but how it started is like, um, well, my dad is age 67. Age 67? Yeah. Uh-huh. Right? So like any law-abiding person, and any, with, with all the, 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 the information out there in the media, they would tell you that if you feel like you have any cough, you know, fever, go to the health center, go to the hospital, get tested, right? But he was wearing his mask and he was very cautious and whatnot. So, Mr. Mr. Allen, this is a gentleman that's staying home all day. Way, boy. Just, 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 just home with the wife, and that's about it. This man not lying, he's not drinking, he's not, he not out there, he's not socializing, because he knows the consequences. What could happen? Yes. Uh -huh. Right? So, so this simplifies here. 
This gentleman was stealing on well on the 27th of August. The 27th of August, right. Right. So he, he did the right thing by checking himself into the hospital. And, and uh, where he told him that he's not stealing well and whatnot on the evening of the 27th. Uh. They, told, they told him that, um, all right, so well, you know the routine thing. The take the pulse and the check the devices and that, what have you. And they said that's how they will run a test on him to, to see if it's COVID or, or, or what, right? Right. So the person who took him there, well, they left and that was in the evening of the 27th. At around 11 on the same, on the third day, the 27th, uh, the next of can receive a phone call that my dad was tested positive for um, COVID. Mm -hmm. And the family should quarantine and at the following day report to the health facility to be tested. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but their main concern was, was that the family um, come the following day to be tested, which in fact everyone did. Right? Um, so my dad was the service is positive, right? So we're working with the fact that he's positive at this time. They then um, said that they would transfer him to some facility. Mind you, they never mention which facility, where he's going, what time he'll be leaving, or anything like that. So through the grapevine, you listen? Yeah. Through the grapevine, we happen to hear that. You have a photograph? You can send me a photograph of your dad, if you mind. Um, you yeah, after, uh, after, after, it. after, yeah. Or maybe somebody could WhatsApp it to me now on this number. Go ahead. The number I'm calling right. you from here. Right. So, so, so they, um, they said that he's positive and, and, um, they said that there's some way to be quarantined and, and that kind of thing and the rest of his family should be quarantined. So on the, on the Friday, apparently they sent him to where the, their secret location, which we found out to be Coover. Right. The Coover Health Facility. That was the Friday. Um, the, Saturday, via telephone contact with, his, with my dad, he said, well, he had Kuba, what, um, what is happening? Um, Saturday, said the doctor Kuba, all the family, and said, that, yeah, okay, no, he's out of danger with COVID. So in other words, no COVID, but they'll continue to keep him quarantined. Right. Right? So that's so that the 28th and 29th. Um, the 30th and the 31st, via telephone contact, my dad, who is a diabetic, an insulin dependent was denied his drugs because he wasn't given the drugs. He wasn't given given proper meals. He wasn't given water. Wait. So let me ask you because something now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a man who taking who taking insulin and thing every day. Did he get his yes. insulin while he was hospitalized? No, sir. Tom, yeah. He, compl he, co he, com he complained about not even receiving his insulin. He complained about not receiving water, proper meals. Or even being attended properly by the, the medical staff. By the asking all rot, boy, all rot. Right? So again it continued. So the twenty nineteen he received no 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 uh, medical assistance to be to uh, uh, and it's a discourse, right? So you see, okay. hold on, hold on, sir. Oh, sir, hold on, he's still on the phone. You know what his fan telling me here yeah? on the phone? He father get tested for t t tested and he positive. Go on in. He has an insulin period. well, he, he's a diabetic. He didn't have no medication on him. So they kept him right there. They refused to give him his medication. And you know, diabetic patients must have a particular meal. But they give him the normal meal like everybody else. Thing to eat. What da, 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 and, and he begged for his insulin. He begged, he begged, he begged. Give him a, ta a tablet. Give him this, give him that. Nothing. But 9 billion DL Singh say, yeah, everything under control. How come DL Singh are coming out on TV and talking about that? Even yesterday when he now come out and say, he say, yeah, what's going on now? You see, from today, everybody relative who passed away in any of the hospital as a result of COVID-19, or they will have an opportunity to, to see their face. But what he didn't come out and tell you is that 57 people done dead already and nobody had an opportunity to see, to see their relative face. But it's only when Attorney Gerald Ramdin went after them and won and give, and give the Ministry of Health a run, give all of them a run there, is then... They realize, but wait now, they tell, they tell Mr. Ramdin, your client could, could, see, could see she father, you know, the client could see the father. But then he come back next day and say, wait, no, I call, I do this, I do that, but you're lying because you did nothing. All through, you know much weeks, people begging me now, people begging parents, parents, let me see me father now, let me see me mother now, let me see me brother now, I want to see them before they're dead. I want to see them, they don't dead already, but let me see their face now. No, 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 you can't see nothing. Cream it. But when he when Ramdin give him the run, when Ramdin really so, attack on him, and he realized they won, 
the one then then you come back and say well you know i this i decide just lying to the nation you have a man here a son here his father was admitted and they refused to give him medication his insulin all his medication go ahead sir go ahead right so so what i'm saying sir is on the 31st of, the, of, the, of, of um, august my, my my dad was left left just just to find pencils he just just isolated i don't know what i don't, I don't know what is the the government intention or plan behind quarantine but as i said he was not given his um, no, water. And he, no water no water no medication and left there. right so, so, so on the 2nd of September now, the family was contacted by the hospital, right? Yeah. And said that, said that my dad's body became acidic. And that is a condition that happened when a person is denied the insulin when a person is... Wow. Is, the is the not, hospital right? called. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, mister. The hospital called the call, call, call the family now. Remember, they take him in Cuba. They, remember, it's nine billion dollars don't spend. Everybody thief, everybody get a family. This one, that one, that one. Everybody don't get. So then, so the hell was with you. Right now, the infection with the world, you know. If God only said Corona, they go for God and all too. I'm telling you, the infection with the world, you know. Around the bitter, you see when they come on TV, the bitter, they call. I said, so I'm looking so, do the law. He want to pass a law, stand up right there, you know. Let me tell you something. This man, his, his father, body became acidic as a result of no insulin and whatnot. Where's that? Where's that? So, Mr. Allen, the, the, the situation shift from the corona is, you know, to wrong ne negligence and, and, and bad treatment by the, by the doctors and nurses. Because, as I said, on the second, they call and said that how the body was becoming acidic, right? Yeah. On the third, now, they said because of the, the state that the body was becoming, they would put him in the ICU. So, this man suffered. He didn't die. He didn't suffer with corona, you know. He didn't suffer with corona, you know. He suffered because he did not get his medication. His insulin. Yeah. You imagine when you're when you're diabetic and you know you have to take your insulin. You know you have to take your medication or whatever. Like you start to feel sick. Your tongue start to feel dry. I start to feel dizzy. But I have you in a bed, so they are you in a bed. No water to drink. In the it happened in Kuva Hospital. No water to drink. No water to drink. What? So you tell sixty people done that already. So you can imagine what they went through. Dead man tell no tales, Rowley. Dead man tell no tales. Go ahead, sir. Right, sir. So when they informed the family you know that he will be in the ICU, but they don't have no space in, at the Cuba hospital, they will send him back to Arima, right? Huh. So the family, family said, okay, if you all, you all are the doctors, you are knowledgeable, and you will be able to put patients. That's the best. So it's just send him to Arima. You be so they informed the family. However, that never happened. They just kept the poor gentleman there. And, and they just put him in a room in the high dependency unit because they can't no ICU doctor. Can't nobody give him a no space there. So they read that they suffer this man, they torture? Right, because they told the family was sent to That he was on waterboard to um, to methods. You know, they're going to torture people, waterboard kind of thing. That, you know, under the Geneva mm -hmm. Convention, you can how to torture people and whatnot. But imagine this man, no insulin. Kuva right. have so, no ICU doctor. Am I right? Yeah. They call the you family. Know, they, 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 they say, yeah, what's going on? The body become space. acidic. The what should we get acidic the now? He said, I'll cop here. We're going to carry him. We're going to carry him. in Arima. They never came. Marie. They say, yeah, what? You stay in our room there. They right? don't people follow so, that. So, 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 on the show, they tell us what happened, right? On, on the show, they said, oh, we're in the ICU. We still have no space and all that. On the, on the fourth, they made no contact with the family. Yeah, no, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Right? On the first, when we were of the opinion that he already received the dialysis, so he was getting the dialysis, and he was getting the immediate care um, necessary, even the following day, you know, he didn't receive the dialysis. Mm -hmm. The doctor to do the dialysis was not available. And he's a dialysis patient also? No, he's not a dialysis. He was not a dialysis patient, but because of their negligence, and, and because he's insulin dependent, and he was deprived of the insulin for more than three days or so, the body started to react and he went into a whole different thing. I don't have any medical explanation, Wee. but, but, but the kidneys and whatnot and went, how, and was damaged. Kuva don't have no dialysis people there. Yeah, that's what they said. They said he was not available. He was not available? Right? Yeah, he, he was not available, boy? On the 6th and the 9th, on the 7th and the 9th, they claimed that he actually received the dialysis, but no improvement was noted. 
After some more days? Exactly. It's too late. It's too late. They can't work again. Yeah, of course. After you promised them to do the dialysis on the on the third, the fourth, the fifth, the eighth, do it after the sixth, on the seventh, there must be no improvement. But here, what is even more alarming, right, Mister Allen? On the eighth of the ninth, at four forty-five p.m., the family received a phone call that my dad passed. Oh God! Right, this is the one I'm going to tell you, right, Mister Allen? At four forty-five p.m., my dad passed. Now that is already a horrible news for, for a patient or for the next of kin to receive, right? Uh -huh. The manner in which the phone call was made, it was like the doctor themselves not even don't have no compassion within them, right? Uh -huh. What when asked this simple question, okay, we are calling at four forty five to say that the gentleman passed away. What time did he die, ma'am? Where, where where can we see the body? What can happen, ma'am? This is the instruction, Mr. Allen. Mr. So at 4.45, your, your, your dad passed away. The body is at the O.P. Allen funeral home in San Juan. And you all will go there on Friday at so-so-so time and view the body. So them done move body. So you, wait, wait, wait. But you and if your father already passed away that time, how the body done really reach by, uh, by O.P. Allen and them in top, up, up the road? And, uh, and uh, what, I, what I'm trying to explain to you, Mr. Allen, this is to show you how the thing... When questioning the police, you tell me Boki did that corona? Or, 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 what's when you tell me Boki did that corona? Boy, when, go ahead, you go ahead. When questioning them now as to the, 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 the time of, 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 of death and, and those kind of things, no answer, no answer, no, no, no real true um, compassion. Somebody doctor mm -hmm. towards the family to say, well, you know, so and so and this and we try nothing like that. We don't even know the time that the body was actually removed to, to, from there, right? So, so, again, in trying to be good citizens, we went to the O.P. Allen funeral home, Mr. Allen. Well, boy, we was in for the shock of life. When we went there, Mr. Allen, and we asked, well, we come here con considering um, this particular name and the body and date and time and whatever. We asked, well, here, what's going on now? They told us that, 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 that the gentleman passed away. We just want to verify that it is the gentleman. Because, you know, the family will be closed, all right? They, they, they told us, no, you cannot see the body. You, 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 don't, don't matter how my mom, you talk about a woman that just lost her husband, crying and in pain, falling to belly, Mr. Allen. My siblings and them all in tears and then they, they fall into the ground because they, 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 they full of hurt. And a man was in the place and telling, no, you can't see that body. You can't watch that body, you don't know who body it is. Right? When, 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 when I'm kid pleading and begging and saying, yeah, okay, no, we don't need much, you know, let's go open the bag, let me just see the face, let me just see, uh, he have a particular look on the mustache, I said, let me just see the little mustache, let me just know it is my father, let me just know what happened, Mr. Allen. We were told, no. Bear in mind that when they, when, when they take into consideration the situation, right? Yeah. They come like, OP Allen, kidnap my dad because they are going to nobody authorize them to get the body or to have the body in their position. Possession at that time. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yeah, so they have the body, and we had to come and bear with them, okay? It, 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 it's not too fancy way to so after, we after you contacted, that, So after, when you realize that you wasn't getting through with you, when I get Jared? Uh, exactly. Exactly. So then after, all, the, and, then, and, then after Mr. Ramdin, Attorney Ramdin, Write, write the letters and whatnot and thing and then 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 they let all see your left father. And then they were very cooperative, man. They want to they want to bring down the stars like that woman. What are you gonna do? How your mother coping, boy? Mr. Alex, you can come to the corner right now. The whole family the, remember this 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 is this is the man that we grew up knowing this is the the epitome of what a father should be, you know, a role model, you know. And for somebody to just take it from us because of negligence, you know, because of, because to my understanding, it, it, it's, it's like junior staff members, it's like the people and them who they just fill in spots down there with dealing with people, you know. Look how DL hold them. on, hold on. Look how DL sing and them doing people, yeah? Look like the same thing with Peach. Put up a pity of Peach. This man not lying. It's about the, you see, I could take you back to cases. Peach died. Peach died. He suffered. Listen to me, you have pain in, 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 in the port. Well, the family has retained the, the services of attorney Om Lala. I'm sorry, Jimmy, Mr. Ramdin. And the family now said that when they went down, well, he, 
eventually, well, one week he was home taking medication. You know, when we went to San Fernando Hospital, they keep him in the white tent. You know, he died in the white tent. You know what they did? They take him and they put him outside the mortuary, outside the mortuary because they feel he had corona. No corona, you know, because he, even the autopsy report said he died because of abdominal pain and blah, 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 blah. But nevertheless, nevertheless, when, they, you know, after that, the family wait almost two weeks. When they get the body, the body rotten down, you know. Rotten down, you know. Ask D.R. Singh. Now you hear a son on the phone saying when his father get corona, when he te tested positive, he went to the hospital. He said, no problem. He actually medication, you know, diabetic, right? That woman met me on my insulin and thing. No, one day gone, two days gone, three days gone. He started to feel sick. He body get acidic or kind of thing. They started to say, well, yeah, what's going on? Oh, God, it, 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 it gets so critical now. You know what we have to do? Um, dialysis, put him on dialysis. But know what? The fellow for dialysis, he's not available. This is the Ministry of Health and this is the, this is the hospital that Kafa says he owns. Remember, he said, my hospital. Convent girls say, my hospital, this big waste, this, this, this waste of time. I tell you, watch me, nobody could put it better than Nalini Dial. You know, you know Nalini Dial? She's a pharmacist, a girl, nice girl. I know her well, she's a, you know? Yeah, you can have blonde hair girl and think, nice girl. And let me tell you something. The, this family here, the family, after three days, then, the, then they call, no dialysis, nothing, no water, they give any money, normal food. And you telling me, I should say, great is the PNM. I should get up and say, I should come and say, well, here we're going on Rowley and I'm doing a good job. I should get up and say, the other thing is a good man. Don't say nothing about it now. It's looking good. I, sh I, sh I, 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 it's better I come out of TV, why? But I shut down the place, sell out everything, and, and then I just come out of this. The day I had to sing for my supper, boy, I'm not singing for my supper, boy. Mr. Allen. Yeah. Mr. Allen, Mr. Allen and you know, you, know, you know what is sad about this situation? People, loved ones, mothers and fathers and, and sons and daughters, are, are being used as statistics, right? Yeah. Because the government, Mr. Allen and, and the CMO, and they were informed about my dad's death before myself. We... And, and, and then, if you understand what I say, the, the, the doctor used to say, well, I had to tell them first. So when you call me at 4.45, it's because he probably died early in the morning. Yeah, but whatever, hold on, hold on, hold on. He might be dying. He might be dead a long time because they're my time. They're my time. Let me tell you something. They're my time. Get a vehicle. Undertakers go to the hospital. Dial it 20 minutes right there. Blah, blah, blah. Carry back the body. Then call you back and say, don't come to the hospital. You go by OP Allen. OP Allen. I was saying to you, Mr. Allen, right? Yeah. They're, 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 they're so focused, right? The system's so focused on, on gaining statistics to show that they're doing this and they're doing that, that the poor people are suffering more. Hey, poor people will never suffer. Once you have people like myself out here, people like Attorney Ramdin and them, good people out here, once you have people like us, we will speak out. We will speak and this, and this out. Is, and this, this is exactly why, why I went to the limit, Mr. Allen, to... to as I told Mr. Ramdin, you know, I can't find words, you know. If you are as, saying as that your father Ramin, is he Ramin. pity me, is he pity me? Yeah, as I told Mr. Ramdin, you know, in the initial meeting, I was doing this, not just for my father, but for all the people who had to suffer. What about the other 50 people in the Stalin yeah, who were not allowed to see the face of their loved one? Yeah, no, what how rotten down them body was. Yeah. Oh, but all the people that are bad, that went to an incinerator and the television, that, that, was, that was your mother. Boy, your that mother. was your mother, you see? Now, now you're hearing it in the door. It's not nothing to run again now. Forget all the news and who dead and who gets shoot and things like that. Forget all that, forget all that. Forget all that. Whatever, whatever I can say after, the, after this call and the dice, I can't say nothing again. Chief, you have a nice day. Can't not knock it tell you well, again. So, 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 in close, I just want to make one go ahead, go uh, ahead. final statement, right? I just wanted to be known, and I think as I just mentioned to you, the fact my dad did not die from COVID, and, and likewise, most of the patients in China, this is my, my belief. Right? But do you know, let me, tell, let me tell you this. The week, the week, the week, Peach, my friend, passed away. That particular, you know they put him, because he died in 10, they put him as Corona, man. They say Corona. The family, everybody started to stink up the whole of all spy and blacks and them. Everybody started to stink them up. It's only when I come and bust the mark Monday, they pull it back off the statistics, you know. 
Because well, I, I know the family, I, I know preach on them. I firmly believe this corona slash COVID-19 is, is, is the ultimate... But they're running something to get money from... Oh, from oh. Some big organization out there giving you money and all kind of thing, but you have to have a certain amount of debt, certain certain amount of people that get corona in the place. Don't bother with them. God don't sleep, boy. Chief, God bless you. And be strong. Yeah, I just want to say this over. Give us a thanks to Mr. Giorgio Ramdin for the great work he has done. And to all the other people, just stay strong. God Thank bless you. Him. Yeah, boy. Yeah, now. You hear it now? You hear it now? You hear that now? What were you going to say? So them people who come, who them people now, who, 60 persons who they're like, no, well, boy, let me tell you something. Them will be, them will be deal with Berkey, boy. Take what I tell you. Them will be deal with Berkey. Berkey, boy, them will be deal with you. They will be deal with them. Because if you hear now with a 60-something-year-old man going in, he going in, they say he positive, but never give him no insulin, never give him the proper meal, never give him no medication, lock him up in our room, Make his whole body become acidic. Then they have to do dialysis. When time for dialysis, they said the man not wrong. Nobody are wrong. No water, nothing to drink. Nine billion, billion dollars. And you telling me, great is the PNM. You telling me I should have respect for them. I should I don't talk too much, Alan. Don't talk. Don't talk about the thing. Don't talk. Don't talk. Why don't talk? Tell me why don't talk. Nobody are paying me in a partner. Who pays the piper, plays the tube? I don't know you, nobody can play not you, neither. I am the head on show. I am the, I don't want to use the word on TV. I am the head on show in charge here. No DS, nobody are running this place, you know. You hear it today? You hear it today? We have to say, let me hear, let me hear, we have to say, you know, like back and all, we on DS in case, this, that, we have to say. When it, when it reach home by you, I want to hear what you go say. Let's take a break. <laughs> Get your hand sanitizers at Crime Watch Studios. Hand sanitizers are vital, ideal for cars, homes, schools, office, and more. Get your exclusive IAN branded masks. Get a gallon for $230, 1.2 liters for $85, and masks for only $65. Or call 225-3250 or a hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. Incredible India Expo Mid-Center Mall urges all citizens to follow all government directives in order to fight COVID-19. Visitors visiting Incredible India Expo should expect strict COVID-19 measures before entering. You will be required to wash your hands, have your face mask on at all times, and have your temperature checked. All restaurants are serving takeaway orders only. No more than five persons in one shop. Public safety is our highest priority. Just once a year, Incredible India Expo at Mid Santa Mall, September 18th to October 12th. Organifi Green is the number one gently dried superfood. Increase mental capacity and reduce stress with ashwagandha, the major ingredient in the superfood blend. Feel relaxed and reduce stress with a solid dose of antioxidants in the Alkaline Greens blend. Available at pharmacies nationwide or contact Gradient Health and Fitness, the sole distributor for Organifi and TNT today. Don't let the sun stop your fun or the rain ruin your day. Get complete coverage from custom canopies and coverings. Our team of highly qualified experts will have you covered. We fabricate, install and refurbish both residential and commercial awnings. We work around the clock to ensure the job gets done with 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Call us in Trinidad at 293-6142 or 463-7429 and in Tobago at 282-1068 or visit our website. Head down to Ram Styles Curry for the best in local Indian cuisine. Enjoy both meat and veggie option. Our signature steaming roti keeps you coming back for more. Call for order and pick up or visit us at Extra Food Plaza, Omera Road, Arena. Get your hand sanitizers at Crime Watch Studios. Hand sanitizers are vital, ideal for cars, homes, schools, office and more. Get your exclusive IAN branded masks. Get a gallon for $230, 1.2 liters for $85 and masks for only $65 or call 225-3250 or a hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. 
Incredible India Expo Mid-Center Mall urges all citizens to follow all government directives in order to fight COVID-19. Visitors visiting Incredible India Expo should expect strict COVID-19 measures before entering. You will be required to wash your hands, have your face mask on at all times, and have your temperature checked. All restaurants are serving takeaway orders only. No more than five persons in one shop. Public safety is our highest priority. Just once a year, Incredible India Expo at Mid Centre Mall, September 18th to October 12th. Get your hand sanitizers at Crime Watch Studios. Hand sanitizers are vital, ideal for cars, homes, schools, office, and more. Get your exclusive IAN branded masks. Get a gallon for two hundred and thirty dollars, one point two liters for eighty five dollars, and masks for only sixty five dollars. Or call two two five three two five zero or our hotline numbers. Your health is your priority. Just WhatsApp me the picture, please. Yeah, no. Let me tell you something. It has no way. It has nothing. It has nothing, nothing, nothing. You know what? It, you know, it makes you really think. These 60 persons that died as a result of, as, as a result of coronavirus, I want the families to get in contact with me. WhatsApp me. Let me know. You know what they should put on the cause of death for these people and them? Cause of death, Dial Singh. Put up his pity. Cause of death, Dial Singh. Cause of death, Paris Ram. Cause of death, Rowley. Cause of death. That's where you should put now cause of death. Cause of death. Because all can have shot. Imagine, and this man saying we are number one in Oxford. You remember what he said? Number one. Oxford said number one. Look at it. Hear him, hear him. They boasted that we were ranked first in the world and that they saved the nation. School of Oxford University, one of the top universities of the world. Judge Trinidad and Tobago, number one in the world. Number one in the world. You know where number one is? <laughs> if I really tell you, they'll pull more of the air. And they'll pull more off. But if I, if I really go to tell you where number one is, just imagine that now, boy. So this man, father, didn't get no the of corona. People who are diabetic could tell you, boy, imagine three days you are getting no medication, no insulin, nothing, boy. Nothing, boy. So you could imagine, these are people who go and buy an attorney and get, well, you know, 
they get to see their father now can I say, but what about the 60% now? What about the 50-something? Remember, they never had a chance to see, you know? It's only what they've passed and come out and say, all they can see now. When people never, when people never get a chance to see their loved one, they, do, they only don't get a chance to, to glimpse them when they go in the ambulance, Papa. I tell you, say, when the ambulance pick me up, you don't know that pain when you leave home, you know? And everybody make joke at me, this, 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 Ian Allen, think, think, and I crying for my son. Yeah, because we got growing up, we are growing up in love. We love I, I love my child. Everybody make all kind of fun of me. But you see how the table turn now? How serious this thing is? Look at Berkey. I mean, they said, what about Berkey? But, but, but that could never be right. Berkey laughing more than dead in the evening. Because Berkey, no, but I can tell you, but they tried that with me too. They tried to take me out, but let me tell you something. Every day, every day, when, every day I get up, every day I get up, I say something from, my, from the, the former prime minister, and only should start saying this. Remember what he said? What Manning said? But I would like to tell my attackers tonight, my dear friends. You know why I stand still? You know why I'm still standing? Because, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because my God is with me, my dear friends. Let them take that, put it in their pipe, and smoke. And smoke it. The other thing, let's take that. Take that. It's sad. I don't know what to tell all you again. Look, I have giveaways. Let me tell you what's going on fast. There's nothing in my head again. Two brothers were shot and killed by their, by their brother at, at, at their brother's home on Henry, at Henry Street. Hindustan Road on Wednesday to the three year old Stefan Springer and Jason Springer, both from Bonnet West, were gone down at a house at a house along Hindustan. Both of them gone down. Both, both victims were well known to the police. There have been 29 double murders so far. Also, almost two months after a man faced a magistrate for quadruple murder in New Grant, his elder brother has been charged for the same murders. Almost two months after a man faced a magistrate for quadruple murder in New Grant, his elder brother has been charged for the same murder. 27-year-old Akeem Mitchell, a.k.a. Yellows of St. Croix Road, Princess Town, was expected to appear before... Remember, this is the yellows that we were putting, on, putting up on television that we were trying to, 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 to find where we did information that passed pass on that he was, he was at a hotel in St. Helena. Remember, on the 25th of May, Venezuelan Jose Serrano and Makano and Aaron George and Daniel Mitchell were found at, of, off Saru Road, Manzanella. Their bodies were found so. Just remember, persons charged for that. Also, two persons, including a woman, were arrested and expected to be charged after drugs were found in the London area today. A quantity of Zessa pills were discovered at the premises in Londonville this morning while in the area. Officers found three live 12 gauge sh shotgun cartridges and two Glock magazines. Um, Senior Superintendent um, Simon, Superintendent Meister, ASPP, conducted the exercise. Also, a jewel store, among two other stores, were broken into in Bali's Mall along Shogona's Main Road. Around 4 a.m. on Thursday morning, suspects broke into the mall by entering through the ceiling. The suspect then ran ransacked the, the stores. However, it is unknown that the value of the stolen items, but all we know that they, 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 stole, they, they, they came through the ceiling and whatnot. This is Bali's Mall, Main Road, Shogona's. Um, they also broke in at a popular jewel store. So Shogunas need to be very... Uh, those of you on the Shogunas may not need to be very careful. We want to believe it's a Spanish national. We're still waiting for the footage. But, you know, I'll tell you something. I really want... I am very, very concerned. Look, we have a little footage here, but I'm very concerned. I want to really find out what is the arrangement with the landlord and the tenant. I mean, somebody... I mean, the people pay rent... They secure their, prim their, their stuff. They rent from a, 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 a mall owner. Something had to come out of that. You know? Something must come out of that. Something had to come out of that. Something had to come out of that. Because for these people to start over it real hard. Also, um, one, one of two suspects were held after robbing a prestige cellular located on Eastern Main Road in San Juan on Wednesday. Two men entered the cell store and announced a hold up on Wednesday, 16th of September. Officers of North, North Eastern Division Task Force responded and arrested one of the suspects on Wednesday night. So just to let you know, one of the suspects was taken into custody. Also, one kilo, one kilo of marijuana was found in a book bag at Frederick Settlement Kearney during an anti-crime exercise conducted in the Maloney and Kearney Police District on, on Wednesday. The exercise was um, 
supervised by Sergeant Guelmo and included officers of the Maloney Operations Unit and K9. Guelmo, you're doing good, boy. You're doing real good. This happened at, um, this, this was found at Building 17 Maloney. Also, a loaded firearm was found at the side of the road in La Bre on Tuesday morning. Police got a tip off and went to, high, a, went to a high road where they found a 0.38 pistol and six rounds of ammunition and 45 grams of marijuana hidden in the bushes in a plastic bag. Also, a man crusading as a resistance who defaced several buildings in Port Spain allegedly said the Ministry of Health on fire has been arrested and charged on Monday. 27-year-old Jean-Paul Cooper of Diamondville, Diego Martin, was arrested after weeks of investigation by officers of the Port Spain Criminal Investigation Department. The, re the resistance vandalized several buildings in Port Spain, including Guardian Media, head office, the walls of building housing, First Citizen Scotia, the clock outside Nicholas Towers, as well as the Cipriani Statue on Independence Square. Also, um, fire in Silas. Fire officers were called to Silas, where after a fire broke out in a bushy area near the sea this evening. So there was a fire in Silas. Also, um, a man in a wheelchair was rescued in Tobago from a house fire this morning. Mount Grace woman in Tobago was... Uh, was engulfed in flames. A house in Mount, Mount, Mount Grace Home in Tobago was engulfed in flames shortly before 5 a.m. this morning. A wheelchair bound man who was an occupant was rescued as the 1.15 million building was um, engulfed in flames. Um, I want to thank Liz Williams from Tobago for giving me that clip. So, Liz, thank you again. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Remember, tomorrow is Friday, so we have all the pack-up giveaways and whatnot, but sometimes you just have to go with how the, you know, how the spirit of the program, the spirit of the, the spirit of the show, and my, my head's so hot, I feel really sad, and I'm, that, 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 you know, that whole thing has placed me in a mood. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't matter how much you, you wear your mask and you stay home, make sure and come and get your sanitizers tomorrow. Send somebody. Those of you who want to get at least 10, we will deliver it to your house. $230 for this, $85 for this, for this one here. This one is a gallon here. What's up me on 294-4081. Advertisers, thank you again. Thanks for the support and make sure and get your product on Crime Watch and all the advertisers. I want to, to tell you tonight, thanks again. Good night. There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We're gonna hunt you down